What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna be covering a few social motion graphic templates. And the first one you just saw was that Instagram tag. And then the other two are focused around how a Twitter post looks. The algorithm on Instagram keeps serving me this sad style of uh, posts and profiles. And honestly, it's kind of cool. So I try to make my own spin on it and we're gonna to try to make one today. So this is what the pack looks like when you download it. You can just drag and drop these guys into your essential graphics and you can type in social to bring them all up and get a few pretty cringe ones from Adobe. So I'll start with this guy. This is just a classic Instagram tag and it just pops in and out. There's not a whole lot to this one. Uh, you gotta pop out um, at the end because this is time responsive and you just want it to, to hold on screen maybe. Uh, you can check this and it'll just stay on screen with no out animation. And then if you dive into the tag controls, you got the color, uh, the opacity of the actual uh, box around it. Moving down, you have the uh, the round corners on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's similar to this. I tried to make it as similar as I could. So you can manipulate the, the point a bunch and dial in your look. And then if you really wanted to, uh, if there was two people on screen, you can kind of move this around to wherever you wanted it. And then you just have some classic text controls that I like to throw in on, on every single one. Okay, let's move on. So these are pretty much the same, so I'll just go through one here quickly. Um, this one is with the photo. Uh, everything in this pack is 1920 by 1080, uh, and I just scaled this up to 4K, just so it's easier to render. So the first group, we got top name. Maybe you just want the username, so you can pop this in here and turn off the username. And again, all the classic text tools are here to change everything. And then moving to the body text, we got some nice 2015 Tumblr sadness here. Let's move on to uh, the photo. It really ties together this whole sad look. Once you pop up in the photo, there's a tint effect that you can check on and off and that'll just make your image or whatever you put in here two-tone and you can choose the colors here and just in the amount that you want to tint. And I guess a caveat here is you have to be running uh, Premiere 2021. And then if you dive into the box, we have similar controls as the tag, uh, just some padding around the box. We got these three dots up in the right corner here and the colors of everything in this entire thing is obviously subject to whatever you want. And now the last thing, let's get a moody image to put underneath this so you guys can see. The image underneath is bleeding through way too much. So let's bump this up all the way to 90. Uh, it still kind of comes through, but at least we can, we're starting to see the text a little bit more. So let's change the text all the way to white. I feel like 95 is pretty, pretty good here. All right, let's preview this and pretend we are a 3 a.m. sad story Instagram page. Okay, and that's it for this pack. I hope you use it for more than just making sad internet memes. <laughs> Download link is in the description and I'll see you in the next one.